after countless of hours, I finally got a thousand codex pages. What you want to do is teleport to An Anacarnia Lodestone, head southeast, and study the lantern. If you want the untradeable ones to unlock personally for yourself, it is 500 codexes each. If you wish to make the tradable version, you will need 750. In my case, I unlocked both the double surge, hit the confirmation, and then read the double escape, and again hit the confirmation. This will also unlock the achievement Gotta Go Fast. If you right click the nearby lantern on Anacarnia, you are able to attune the movement. Now attuning the movement, if you are spam clicking, surge, or escape, depending on how fast the attune movement is set to, it can have either a delay or no delay. You can choose exactly which ability, surge, or escape to do, and then you are able to do it one through five game ticks. Each game tick is 0.6 seconds. So in my case, I'm going to put it at three. Now, if I were to surge, as you see, I'm clicking on it, and it happened a little of a delay. Now, if I set it to five, you will notice a delay of a difference. As you see, I'm clicking on it, and it does nothing. That is what the attune movement does. You can set it through one through five, and it's independent. Now, another thing about double surge and double escape, if you escape, you can only use ex escape again. You cannot escape and then surge immediately. And then set it back to which whatever number feels right to you. And that will be it for the attuning the movement. Once you have unlocked the double surge ability, it is useful for a hand of skills. It is most notable for slayer, agility, and runecrafting. For runecrafting, it is really good for running through abyss. Since you can store up two charges, you're able to double surge in the wilderness, but you must make sure that the skull icon does not appear how it does in the top right corner. Instead, while you're making runes, make sure this oak tree right here is not in your pathway. And make sure the skull icon is gone. Surge. And then surge again. And then you can teleport to the wizard or by your daily runes. If you surge in the wilderness itself, you will not be able to double surge. Even with the mobile perk, it will not cool down quick enough. Now for PVM aspects, it is exceptionally good for rots. With the medallion or anything else you have, make your way to rots. Run to the tunnel. Jump in the well. You will need a barrel's totem. Now if you do make rots, make sure to set it accordingly to the amount of players. And then the double surge is mainly good for running in to the next area or escaping. 
since you'll be able to surge massively far distances. Another thing double surge is good for is clue scrolls. You'll be able to have an easier time finding the scan clues on where they were brought to. Now some useful mini games they are good for. Is good for Coxtinian caches. You can double surge going in and out to collect the energy and depositing in the center. Barbarian assault if you are doing the attacker or healer role. It can help for pyramid plunder. It can also help for fist of cutex if there is enough people to surge across the map area quickly. It is very good for soul wars running from your base or the checkpoints at the graveyards to the enemy bases. It can be good for pest control going from portal to portal. It is extremely useful for stealing creation if doing non-combat games, surging from plot to plot. It is extremely good for Castle Wars, which is another game exactly like Soul Wars except instead of the flag, you, instead of a monster you'll be killing, you will be wanting to get the flag. Is it for the mini games now for the PVM it is good for all elite dungeons 1 2 and 3 for surging through the long tunnel and pathway to the bosses it is really good for Araxor mainly for the darkness path which is currently blocked so I am unable to show you but it's good there because you're able to surge and blade dive to the light much easier. For barrels, it can be good going from grave to grave. For rots, I have already showed you. For chaos elemental, nothing. It can be good for giant mole going from corner to corner can be decently good for the Calphite King during magic phase if there is not enough people so you won't get bombarded by the magic attack bombs it is extremely good for necks if you're doing it full cyrenic so that she does not melee you, you can just double surge and then she should stop. It is also good for building on Nexus first minion before the start of the phase. You will want to anticipate, double escape, double escape, preparation, resonance, and then next should be attackable. And if she drags you, you are able to use freedom. That should put you to about 36% adrenaline, but you cannot have the mobile perk on your armor. If you do, you will not gain the adrenaline. For next Angel of Death, the double surge or double escape can be good, mostly running to the pillars on the very last phase and placing the bombs for queen black dragon it can be good for activating all of the artifacts running to it easier for solak it can help 
for faster movement to running to the green portals in phase one. In phase two, it can help running and surging to the corruptions. For Telos, it can be good for phases 1, 2, and 3 if you are not good at dodging the uppercut. You can double escape or double surge and combine them. You must use the same double escape or double escape. You cannot use double surge and then escape. It is good for dodging the uppercut if you do not have enough practice at it. And for P4, going to font to font, double surge can be helpful if you do not bring a bladed dive switch. For Virago, it is extremely good when you're duoing to clear the bleeds. Thank you all for watching and enjoy your day.